Hey guys, this is a quick video. I was looking into the Actions tab in RASPRO repository and what I noticed was all the workflows were failing and then I looked into one of the workflows and uh, let me click on this and what I realized is uh, the unlock secrets step was failing because I did not add secrets for uh, decrypting GitCrypt secrets. I have done it in Project Zero repository but it was not done on REST Pro repository. So I can imagine if you want to make a copy of this project and if you want to publish it to your own repository, you would also need to do this step. So the way you can do it is you go to the readme file and let's say if you click on GitCrypt, this will open the readme file for GitCrypt, which is under docs. And if you, let's just scroll up, for example, here it says how you can install GitCrypt. Uh, in encryption of project is already done. And to decrypt the project in local, you would have to run git crypt, unlock git crypt uh, key, rest pro. So this is the name of the key. And to decrypt project in CI, what you would need is you have to open a terminal like git bash. And then you have to run this command. Let me zoom in a little bit here. Then you have to run in this command, like git crypt export key and uh, give the name of the key and cat, uh, which will basically parse this key, content of the key as base64. And this will expose these key contents as it is uh, shown here. So for example, uh, when you run the command, it gives you know uh, the content of the key decrypted as base64. Now, why am I exposing this secret? Well, uh, number one, it's a, it's a demo project. The key is already present in the root, right? And in a real life project, of course, you will not version control it. It will not be a part of your uh, project. And it will be something which is either ignored by uh, git ignore file or it will be present somewhere outside the repository. But this being a demo project, I don't mind exposing the secret. So what you would need to do next is uh, copy the secret. When you run this command, you will get a base64 decoded uh, key. Copy this. And then it says, uh, in fact, it says uh, refer information here to see how this was done. So if you open this, actually what you need to do is you need to create a secret called git crypt key. And so if I, let's say, open the project, uh, let me open the project REST Pro, you have to go to settings. And from settings, you have to click on secrets and variables. You have to click on actions. And in actions, you have to uh, add a new repository secret, right? So at this moment, you can see I already have added repository secret called get crypt key, but essentially, uh, you would need to, uh, so let's say if I put it here, so this is the content of the key and it actually asks us to uh, add this key as git crypt key. So if you are doing it for the uh, first time, let me say, do not ask me again. You have to give it like this and if you click add secret, this will add your secret. And remember, this contains a new line, so don't remove this. Keep it like this and don't delete and put it there. And once you click on add secret, it will add the secret as like this below. Uh, once I added the secret, now the workflow is running fine. Uh, in the past, uh, let's recap it. So in the past, it was failing at the unlock secret step. But once I added the secret, uh, I clicked on it again. And let me see if you want like do read in all jobs. You will see that now it will not fail on this particular step. So even though, you know, I have solved this step, but I thought that, you know, I uh, mentioned this is a part of project because for most of you guys, if you're trying to make a copy of it and if you don't unlock secrets in local or if you don't unlock secrets in CI, uh, it will fail for you in the unlock secret step. So it's, it's like a very important step to do. Uh, that's it. Thank you. Bye-bye.